<laughs> Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. Um, right now we are outside, as you can see. And we are currently in this park called High Park, which is in downtown Calgary. And it's basically just the top of a, like, a parking lot, <laughs> right? Um, and they kind of changed the place, kind of put some signs like this one. Um, and lots of colors, um, so basically very Instagram worthy. So if you're in Calgary and you're needing an Instagram spot, then just come up here. Uh, yeah, I'm joined here by my friend David. Hello. And Gabby, come here. <laughs> I don't know if they can see. Go, like, you can go over here. Yeah, um, and I just thought that today, since we're hanging out, I might as well try and test this new film that I got online. It's called the Yashika Golden 80s. And I've never used this before, so this is the first time I'm using it. Um, but based on what I've seen online, it's basically a warm type of film and it kind of has this retro vibe in it. So yeah, I'm really excited. I thought it would be nice to do some portraits with it. So yeah, I guess just Come along, um, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> So what is this film? Without going into too much details, Yoshika used to be a company that made film cameras that had to shut down. Now a new company got a hold of the brand name recently and started releasing Kickstarter campaigns, one of which included the release of the Yashika Golden 80s film. It's a limited edition 400 ISO film that renders images that are grainy and saturated, reminiscent of film photos from the 80s. I got a hold of mine from a now unlisted seller on eBay, but if you're interested, Downtown Cameras in Toronto, Canada sells them in store and online. Okay, so for today's equipment, I decided to bring my Canon EOS 3 um, and on it is the Helios 44-2, which is like a vintage Soviet lens. Um, and I thought that this is kind of like my favorite cheap portrait lens. Um, yeah. Anyways, I've made a video about the EOS 3 before where I used it with the Fuji Pro 400H. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'm going to link it somewhere over here. Um, but Okay, so here I'm just gonna make my friend David pose for me. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's my portrait. Um, actually, can you go after the so so I can actually see the sign? So, David, we are so <laughs> Okay. Can you turn a bit a little bit this way? Yeah, like that. Okay, three, two, one. Awesome. Jabby, you pose. Can I do something? Ah, like you can sit on the. Yeah, so sit over there. That's good. Um, yeah, that would be nice. And then like maybe use your camera to like as a prop. And I'm just gonna put some stuff in here as more props. I'm gonna remove this. <laughs> so um now can you look over there? Yes, like that. Perfect. Smile. Like you're reminiscing somebody, like you're thinking about somebody you like. Okay, one, two, three. Sorry. Okay, close it for now and then I will focus. Okay, one, two, three, open. Perfect. Looking at these first few shots, I can already see that the film is indeed saturated and grainy, but not in a bad way. The images look warm to me and there's this noticeable magenta tone in the highlights. I actually quite like it. Okay, so right now we are joined by Bianca, Guy, David, and Gabby. Hey, say hi to the camera. Hello. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she charges by minute, by the way. <laughs> my by model minute. charges by the minute. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Thank you. One more. Ooh, I like that. Actually, I'm gonna do this. One, two, three. Nice. <laughs> so colorful. Love yeah, it. Come on, Gee. Gee. Can you stand over here, please? I can. <laughs> they have, like in front of the I, I love ya. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I can't like focus. Hit three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> so he thought he was being funny by trying to add some movement to the shot, but my shutter speed was way too fast for him. <laughs> this is actually why I like to pair the Helios with my Canon EOS 3. This camera has a shutter speed of up to 1 4,000th of a second, which means I can open up my aperture and still get a proper exposure without needing an ND filter. Okay, so this empty table actually looks really good right now with the sun and everything, so I'm gonna try and take a photo of that as well. Okay, so right now I'm using the Helios 44 II um, and I just basically got this adapter on eBay and I'm using it to basically use these screw mount M42 lenses with uh, Canon e EF. <laughs> okay, yeah, like do that. No, close your eyes for now. Now I'll tell you to open them. Okay, now open. Ah, let's go on that one. Okay, can you like sit on top of that bench uh, table thing? Um, can you put one foot down? Like, yeah, like that. Perfect. Uh, and then this time, I want you to kind of like turn your body this way. Yeah, like that. Um, and then the hands that has the glove, can you put it on the back, kind of like lean on it? Actually, uh, this one works. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Okay, close your eyes for now. Okay, now open. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna do a close-up. Um, can you tilt your head this way? Maybe lean on this other hand. Yes, perfect. Uh, and then that one, put it on your, like the other hand, put it on your knee. No. Uh, <laughs> no, like uh, continue le leaning on the other hand. Yeah, like this one works. Can you put this knee inside? No, like turn it inside but then keep it yeah like not too much like it's a little bit awkward but just like rest it and then turn it inside and then lean on that yes yes perfect yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay close your eyes for now no don't move okay open your eyes cool spot can you turn your body this way Can you remove that glove, please? Thank you. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Three, two, one. Okay, now open them. 
uh, but still looking that way. Cool. I think we're done here. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure about these light leaks though. My camera's light seals look intact and the next roll of film I used had no light leaks at all. Anyways, I just want to note that my friends aren't professional models by the way, so this is just me giving random directions to get some good poses. Not that I'm claiming to be an expert at giving directions, but we're all pretty happy with how these photos turned out. So cool. Like look. Come on, son. Someone? No, I was like, come on, son. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. I kind of want to get a little bit closer. Uh, maybe face this way, like towards the sun, but then move two steps that way. Yep, perfect. Love it, thank you. Gabby, can I take a photo of you in there as well, please? I wanna see it. Well, it's not digital. <laughs> I can see the frame, oh cool. Ooh, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Can you carry the camera on your lap? Okay, three, two, one. And I'm gonna do... Oh, crap. I found like a nice... Angle? Yep. Nice. No, oh, let's do a multiple exposure. Uh, for the first one, face this way. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, and then the other one. Yeah, that way. Close your eyes. Uh, chin up. Uh, chin down actually. Okay, one, two, three. I don't know if that worked. Did that work? Actually, I made a mistake. Why? Oh no, that wasn't a multiple exposure. Oh my god. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Like this way. So what I did in here is that I covered one half of the lens with my hand for the first shot and then cover the other half for the next one. But I apparently didn't engage the multiple exposure mode properly, so I just merged them later on in Photoshop. The next one was done in camera though. Okay, the other way. Okay. Did it work? That should work. You look cute. The camera. <laughs> With masks. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What, what should we say? I don't know what are we going to say. Um, such a lovely day on Sunday afternoon. I'm very hungry. We spent like probably one hour here. 
you probably can't hear me. I was just saying that it's a very lovely day today. I'm really hungry. We spent here two hours filming and taking photos. Just I would love to get coffee at least. Yeah. Go. <laughs> So we got hungry and decided to leave the park and walk to an area where we could get food and coffee. Here's a few street photos I took with the same setup. Anyways, this is pretty much the end of this video. I hope you liked it. In the end, I would say that I quite like this film, but it's definitely more of a novelty film given its rarity and price. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers!